This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at a demo of prompt to prompt from Google research. Okay. So what is this prompt to prompt AI model? Uh, so the idea over here is that if you have a text, an image will be generated from the text, basically from the prompt, and then you can edit the prompt and as well as perform edits on your image. For example, if the original prompt was photo of a cat riding on a bicycle and this is the image which has been generated using models like latent diffusion or st uh, stable diffusion, then by changing this bicycle to car, you can generate this image. Okay, so let's go to the demo of this. So what I've done is that they've suggested uh, to look at this particular notebook. Uh, this is prompt to prompt stable. It makes use of stable diffusion. So I am trying out this demo using a collab notebook. So it is exact copy of that code except with minor changes. So in collab first you need to install transformers, diffusers, a particular version as in the requirements as well as accelerate and torch. Okay. So this is the libraries installation. Then I uh, cloned the uh, GitHub repository for prompt to prompt. And I, uh, because there is this particular uh, code which is being imported from this GitHub repository, that is why I do this uh, appending the path of this particular uh, GitHub repository which has been downloaded over here into the system path. Okay. So then what happens over here is that I also need to put my hugging face token to access this particular model, stable diffusion model. And for stable diffusion, I also have to accept a license requirement. Okay. So once I, uh, that I will be responsibly making use of stable diffusion model. So once I do that, um, this is about creating a stable diffusion pipeline from this particular model. Okay. So then uh, for prompt to prompt, um, there is this code for prompt to prompt attention controllers. Um, so basically this uh, set of code is for that. Okay. So I'll not be going into this code or anything, right? And then there are some helper methods to, uh, you know, display, uh, show attention, okay, and for run and display, okay. So first, let's go to a visualization of cross attention. So first, an image is generated, okay, for a prompt, and uh, for every word, where is the attention uh, focusing on? That is what is shown over here. So I have changed the prompts over here from the original notebook, okay. So this is a painting of a cat eating a fish. And this is the image which is being generated using stable diffusion. Okay. And if you look at the attention map, this is the attention map. For example, for cat, right? For the word cat, the attention is on this particular part of the image. Similarly, for fish, the attention is this particular part of the image. Okay. This shows that, uh, you know, when you are uh, generating images, um, you can actually have attention focused on specific parts of the image. Okay. So that is what is shown over here. Okay. Now the whole idea of prompt to prompt is by changing these attention maps. Okay. Uh, in the process of generating images, you can actually um, edit the images. That is the idea of prompt to prompt. Okay. By changing the intermediate high level idea of prompt to prompt by changing the cross attention. Okay. That is what uh, somewhere they would have written over here uh, in the prompt to prompt uh, paper. Okay. So the idea is that you can change these cross attentions. You can do replacement, refinement, reweighting. Okay. And there are various attention control options. Okay. So this was about it, right? Now let's do a replacement edit. So here it is a painting of a cat eating a fish. We want to replace the cat by a lion. Okay. So this is without prompt to prompt. So these are two images which have been generated using stable diffusion. But with prompt to prompt, this image over here is changed to this cat has been changed to a lion over here. And that's not very perfect generation, you can say, because you know, some part of this has not been blended properly over here. But still, uh, you know, this is a cat eating a fish. It has been changed to a lion. So this is the work of prompt to prompt edits. OK, and here is how it is done over here. Um, so this is attention prompts uh, run and display. So basically this prompt is in and based using this method, this is done. Okay. Now you can modify this cross attention uh, injection step for specific words. 
For example, we want to reduce the restriction on our lion by re reducing the number of cross attention injection with respect to the word lion. That is what is done over here in attention replace. Okay, in this method. So in this method, what happens is that over here, if you look at, there is an attention replace controller which has been created. Okay. In the attention replace, now you replace this word basically. Um, basically, this cat has been replaced with lion. So here in the attention re uh, replace, so you are um, you know reducing the attention on lion. Okay. So here you can see a slightly different image which has been generated when compared to the previous image. Okay. Even though they look more or less the same, but the less attention on the lion. Okay. You are reducing the attention on the lion. Okay. So this is another image from the original one where, uh, you know, there was this squirrel which was eating a burger, right? And then you want to uh, apply a local edit with respect to the squirrel and lion. And this is your, uh, you want to preserve the burger as such and only the lion needs to be changed. So that is what is done over here. So the focus is on, uh, you know, let's focus on the object which uh, this object has to be retained as such when you are doing this edit and it should be more on this one, okay? So that is what is this, uh, you know, we want to preserve the burger and, but the squirrel has to be replaced by a, a lion. Okay. Um, so this was or originally squirrel and lion. I have changed it to cat and lion over here. I, I have not changed this text over here. Okay. So this is another example. Uh, okay. So this is an example of a squirrel eating a burger and you want to edit this burger with lasagna. Okay. So here you see the squirrel is eating a burger. The edit has been done and it has become a lasagna. Okay. So this is your again prompt to prompt local edit. Another image of a squirrel eating a burger and burger is replaced with lasagna. Okay. So this is again local to local edit. Okay. It's a local edit. Right. Then you can have also have a refinement edit. Okay. Where you want to refine this uh, original image which is a painting of a squirrel eating a burger as a, a neoclassical painting. Okay, so this is the image which has been generated, the original image versus this is the neoclassical painting. This is refinement. Okay, so here if you look at the control letter is attention refine. Okay, so basically if you go over here, they say that you have refinement attention, you have replacement, you have reweighting. Okay, so for replacement it is attention replace, the controller is attention edit refine or attention refinement which we saw and then you have attention reweight. Okay, so this is refinement. Okay, so then you also have this refinement uh, example over here where I tried a photo of house on a mountain. Okay, and I am changing at winter. Okay, so this is the original image which has been generated at winter. This is the edit which has been done on this image. Quite clear cut. Again, another thing which with the same thing I wanted to try like a photo of house on a mountain and I was putting like early morning, twilight, light, a summer. I, in this, I couldn't see much edits happening. Okay. So it's not guaranteed to always work uh, some, because it's generational. So sometimes you have failures like this because I was expecting at twilight some kind of a dark light or something, uh, you know, you know how twilight looks like, right? Or in summer, very bright afternoon setting or something like that. I don't see that happening over here. I tried with different examples. It did not happen over here, but this worked, right? Where, uh, you know, this was, uh, a normal picture and this was at winter okay so this was about attention refinement right um then you also have things like you know a local blend so this is a soup image which needs to be generated and from soup now you are um, converting it into pea soup okay and only the change has to happen within this thing so here you have your local blend so uh, the, the blending is happening for this soup word okay so then you also have attention reweighting. Okay. So pay three times more attention to the word smiling. Okay. So this is a smiling bunny doll. And when you focus more attention on the smiling part, you get this image, which is being generated. Okay. So this controller over here is attention reweight. Okay. So another example is this pink cat riding a bicycle. Okay. Again, I have not changed this text over here. It was originally a bear. I changed it to a cat. So we reduce the amount of pink, uh, pink, but apply it locally on the bikes. So this is a pink cat riding a bike, but you want to reduce the pink on the cat and you want to apply it on the bike. 
okay but again if you look at you know it's quite uh, it is reduced on the wheels but only on the body of the bike so this is your attention reweight okay so then there is another example of uh, attention refine okay uh, so here you have a soup right and then you want to make it as a noodle soup with crotons okay so this is the image which has been generated over here okay so here we want to give more attention to the word crotons so if you want to give more attention to the word crotons so over here if you see uh, three times more attention to the word crotons now let's see what kind of image uh, gets generated right so it's a combination of an attention refine and an attention reweight okay so first you have this soup which has been generated with noodles right and now i'm giving more attention to the croutons on top of it so this is the image which has been generated from the original image of the soup so it's a com you can also combine things like refinement followed by reweight okay um yeah that's the idea over here uh, now this is about again attention refinement so you have uh, original was potatoes and fried potatoes i just changed it to onions and fried onions so the original image is onions now this edit is fried onions okay this is the image you get now you can give more attention to this fried onions and you can get uh, you know 20 times more attention so you would want more fried onions over here so yeah this is the image which has been generated little bit more fried than this but more or less they are the same okay so this was about a small demo of prompt to prompt uh, from google okay prompt to prompt for image edits uh, so this is uh, whatever uh, you know and this makes use of models like stable diffusion and here are some cherry picked examples over here but um, this is the code which i have tried on a uh, collab uh, no notebook and what they say over here is that uh, this code works on uh, 12 gb ram at least card so here we have a 12 gb ram uh, graphics card so that was not an issue and i could run this code except for some small changes in the this thing so i could import this code this notebook and try it out so you can also try out uh, this prompt to prompt uh, demo and you can see what kind of images can be generated you can play around with the parameters to this api um uh, where is this particular api let me go to that basically this run in display or with the controllers basically you can play around with say it could be replacement it could be attention refinement it could be attention reweighting and you can generate uh, edits on the images okay i hope this small uh, demo was useful for you if you like this video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video happy learning